Oh yeah, I need, need my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? We are right in the middle of match number two of K O uh, three point O. Did you get that right? I think I got it right. I, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Wow, that's two. That's two nights in a row. I, that's actually pretty impressive. Last time I checked, that's a hundred percent. That guy right over there is Mr. Derek Schwartz, and we are here. F at obviously at Outer Points Productions because you're in the middle of watching the match. We're probably around I don't know game seven or eight or somewhere around there. Um, how do you think you're playing? I think that I'm doing phenomenal. All right. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Good. Yeah. Let's I mean, the score is probably you know two to eight, but I would say that's phenomenal for me. Uh, two to eight in your favor or? No, no, absolutely not. Oh. No. <laughs> well, I love the confidence. <laughs> Anyway, that's Derek Schwartz, Derek Justin, Avenue Auto. I mean, what should we call you? I've been called a lot of names, but Derek will do. Derek, Der okay. Derek's good. Derek, Derek, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, uh, 34 now, two kids, beautiful wife, great home, play pool, own a car dealership. Are they Avenue watching Auto. tonight? Jordy's probably watching. Little boy. He loves watching pool with Dad. That's awesome. So, How old is he? He is six. Just just started riding without his training wheels. Nice on the bike, yeah. Fifty-seven, and I haven't even done that. That's for that's. Well, you got to be able to get up on the seat of the bike first. Oh, that would help. That would help. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, how long have you been playing? Competitively, uh, I would say four years. Four years, and I I think you and I met at Matt Apple, correct? Yep, and it was about four years ago. Right around there. Yeah. And uh, from what I've seen, well, you were in KO 1.0 um, and had a little bit of a hiccup. I forgot who you ended up subsiding to, if you will. Todd Schmidt. That's right. And he didn't miss a ball. No, he played really well. Yeah. So, um, so what, uh, other than married life, uh, so you have Avenue Auto, which is here in Oshkosh, Oshkosh correct? Yep. That's How long correct. have you been in business? Two years. Two nice. years. Yep. It's going good. Started getting into the third year just uh, last month. Nice. So, yeah. So outside of this game um, and family, what, what do you like to do in your off time? So I actually took up golf last year. What in the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I was in the Iron Foundry. I was in the Army, jumped out of planes. Body never been hurt. I started golfing, and my back has hurt ever since. Yeah, everything hurts. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those games that you hate to love and you love to hate. I, I've been playing my whole entire life, you know, and I was a caddy at Whistling Straits for 10 years. It's the dumbest game ever invented. <laughs> it's just, yeah. So do uh, you have a handicap, established handicap? No. No? Mm -mm. Just get out and whack the hell out of the ball? That's right. Excellent. If I had to guess what my handicap, it would be like a uh, 80. Compare it to... <laughs> 80, probably 80 handicap. Does 80, that sound right? 80 handicap. Wow, yeah, I don't that's, know if that's... That's really good. Yeah. That's the higher right. than the number, right? I, I got to carry the one and divide by... Two. Yep. 80, Is it the higher 80. number? It's like Fargo, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Sweet. Um, let's talk about some of your equipment. What What do you play with? So I actually... Uh, I shoot with a, a P-Shower brake shaft. The new well. Rogue? Yeah, the, the nice. road brake shaft is what I, I use for braking. Very nice. I got one of the first, uh, like the six. It was supposed to be Kendall's, and MH sold it to me by accident. Oops. Yeah. And didn't give it back? No. Nice guy. And uh, then I shoot with a player's uh, player's cue and a Revo shaft, 12.4. Uh, nice. With a medium victory. And you, what, what did you say for jump cue? You have a jump cue? No. You don't use one? No. What? I don't what what are you doing in this match tonight? <laughs> Kicking. <laughs> All right. Whatever it takes, I guess. Hey, as long as you kick good. Yeah. I sh uh, sure. We'll so see. in in preparation and, and again you were in 1.0. What what do you do to mentally prepare yourself for a match like this? Uh, I do a lot of drills where I don't, I, I try not to miss, uh, I know it sounds silly, but uh, do simple drills so that the confidence is higher, you know, like today. I haven't missed the ball today. 
right? So my confidence is high. Granted, I don't take any hard shots. I don't know. It's a weird but, thing. But, no, actually, that's, that's, you know, pocketing balls. It, it, okay, let's compare it to golf a little bit. You're out on the putting green, and you're starting 18 inches away, two feet away, you know. Yep. And you hear the sound of the cup, hear the sound of the cup over and over and over in your head. That does, it does build confidence. You know, it sticks in the back of your head. It's just the same thing. I, I do the same thing. I love just pocket balls, pocket yep. balls, put them in the center. Yeah. So that's what I, that's what I've, I've been doing today and practice my break a little bit. Uh, and this week I did, you know, I just did real good drills. In prep for today. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Any big plans for Memorial Day weekend? Family? Yeah. Uh, sitting down with a wife to plan a trip to Switzerland, I believe. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Dream vacation? Bucket list? She wants to see Taylor Swift, and I want to go see the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. She's going to be in I, Switzerland? Yeah, I think that makes me a good husband. I'm not sure. That makes, yeah. She, I, I hope she's watching tonight. Yeah. She's definitely not watching. Definitely not watching. All right. Uh, not a chance. Anyway, we're going to let you get back to the match. and Well, actually, we're going to let you get to back to practicing, and then we're going to let the viewers get back to the match. Does that make any sense at all? Because this is pre-recorded. I, I, I don't know. The guy over there with the spiky hair, he's playing pretty good. Yeah, i seen that. Thanks, Derek. Much appreciated. We'll see you, Dale.